so you started working with the eight angle cuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's another version that I also like, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, supinated, seven, eight, pronated, nine. Then you can add also thrusts. Different ways to work all those skills. So remember, it's a cross and an X that goes through a center point. So what I just showed you is through the neck, but let's say you're aiming for the center. You can do the whole sequence there. You can do it right at the hip, perhaps. So you're doing everything at that range. Maybe it's for the knee, and maybe you want to practice reaching down, or maybe you're practicing changing your levels physically. So it's another way you can shake up the sequence and work lots of different skills. So high, middle, another middle, low. You can do it forward and back. You can do it stepping back. So playing with your uh, footwork at the same time. You can turn and work those angles. You don't always have to do it with a knife either. You can grab your two-handed sword. One, two, up three, four, cross five, six, seven, eight, nine, I like to do. Of course, with a two-handed sword, you can also work your false edges. You can, of course, do it with any sword. When you're a stage combat practitioner as well, I suggest casting cuts. So you practice those at all angles. See what's awkward. See what maybe you have to work on because it feels totally weird. And practicing, of course, proper thrusting, extend, and then follow up with the body. Should give you lots to work on.